WNCT continues to report on the growing opioid epidemic. Greenville Fire Rescue says they now respond to an average of five overdose calls a week. WNCT's Jessica Jewell spoke with first responders about how they plan to address the issue with young people. It doesn't target a specific group of folks, whether it's young, old, rich, poor. It really spans the gamut of everybody. In a college town, first responders like Lieutenant Jesse Harris say they're worried more overdose calls could start coming from students. You know, young folks, they can go off to college, they start trying new things, they're away from mom and dad and maybe don't have that parental influence. Um, obviously, peer pressure is very strong, so when folks you know, say that well, it's, it's fine, it's safe, you know, I've done it. ECU leaders are concerned after an uptick in severe drug-related crimes with increased felonies and cases involving prescription drugs. It's something that on some level is a threat here in the east, and so it's something that we have to be prepared for because it may only happen once, but to that one individual, um, it's very critical um, to be able to render the aid to them as quickly as possible. That's why all ECU police officers are equipped with Narcan. To be able to reverse that almost instantaneously is a pretty remarkable tool to have. Fortunately, ECU police have only had to use it once. What the university can do to help overmanage the safety of our students um, and for us to be able to maintain a safe environment is for our officers to have Narcan at their disposal and be trained on how to use it. They hope by teaching students the harmful effects of opioids, they won't have to rely on Narcan in the future. Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side. In the residence halls alone, 68% of felonies have involved heroin or marijuana.